What if I told you that you can have a team of physicians right at your fingertips? Well, now you can by using the app Doctor on Demand. And joining us now is one of the Doctor on Demand's licensed clinical psychologists, Dr. Craig Dyke, who's going to help us answer a question from Paige, who joins us via Skype from Illinois. So Paige, what is your question? Hi there. I work in marketing and finance in the automotive industry, so I generally have about 10 different projects that I'm juggling at once. So there's usually a lot of pressure that goes along with it. Because of that, I've noticed my hair falling out. Um, sometimes I'll get physically ill and I'll even get depressed and reclusive. So what's the best way that I can handle my stress? All right, Dr. Dyke, you need to help us out here. So what are some of the signs that our viewers at home and Paige might be working in a toxic work environment? Well, first and foremost, uh, some of the physical symptoms that she talked about are great indicators that you are not doing very well at work. Things like flaky skin, hair falling out, um, feeling depressed, uh, not wanting to go and do things that you used to like to do. Um, those are all big signs. But a toxic work environment is a little bit different than a stressful work environment. A toxic work environment is one where you might be being harassed, uh, bullied, abused in any way, shape, or form. And if that's happening, then you need to act on that as quickly as possible by contacting someone that can help you, an advocate, HR department, something like that. Communication is the key. If you can uh, talk to your boss, let them know what you want and what you need, um, doing so in a way that uh, allows you to feel like your needs are being met is the, really the best option for you. Uh, before you do that, you could do a few extra things. You know, take a break, breathe, uh, think about what you're going to say. Um, but and when you're thinking about what you're going to say, think win-win. Yeah. Not every negotiation or discussion or conflict has to have a winner and a loser. Maybe what you need to talk to your boss about is how you can disseminate the task over a longer period of time so that things are still getting done and you're feeling much better about your work. And I also think, Paige, start documenting your day because your boss may not have a full appreciation for how busy your work day really is. And hopefully that will encourage your boss to see the need to get you some extra help. And such great tips for both of you. So. Paige, since Doctor on Demand has known that you're dealing with this, they wanted to give you five free sessions on the app to help you get past this work stress. Yes, yeah, great. Oh, thank you. So, Paige, best of luck to you and Dr. Dyke. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you. And Ariva, as always. Great, great advice. Thank you. And if you at home want to have your own Doctor on Demand, go to the Google Play Store or the iTunes App Store and download the Doctor on Demand app.